hello welcome to my channel if this is your first time here you are welcome my name is EMC and today I will be showing you my food timetable for the month and I'll be sharing with you tips that help me with menu planning let me tell you guys something for the past three days, we had been eating like noodles back to back. And I told myself, let me see, see, <laughs> if you don't menu plan this month, <laughs> the express, you don't go like, I was stressed already. Breakfast, I was thinking, what are we going to eat? Lunch, what are we going to eat? Dinner, what are we going to eat? I was stressed out. This is why it is important to have a menu plan. First of all, it just eliminates that stress of thinking, what are we going to eat? What are we going to eat? What are we going to eat? And then secondly, it helps you manage your budget it reduces stress from your life imagine if let's say this evening now and i'm like oh what are we going to eat it's already five o'clock what are we going to eat then i check the fridge oh okay let's eat yam but then we don't have the remaining ingredients and then i have to now go out at this time of the day to go and pick the ingredients by the time i come back it's like 7 p.m by the time we start cooking it's like 8 by the time food is ready it's like 9 30. by the time we eat 10 p.m. this has happened many times i'm just confessing that's happened many times so let's just eliminate stress and do it all together today so just one day of doing the work and it sorts out the rest of the week or the rest of the month so if you want to see my tips and if you want to see my food timetable for the month of august i'm ready to share it with you also please click the like button it helps me out and it lets me know that you like these kind of videos if you want more of these kind of videos just press that like button and also subscribe so that i can have it on my channel because i share food related content here The first thing I do before I create my meal plan is I ask myself three important questions. Number one, what is my budget? So budget is relative. To me, budget can be 50K. To you, budget can be 20K. To another person, budget can be 35K. So your budget determines the kind of food you're going to cook and the variety you can explore. The next important question is what is your schedule like? Are you always busy? Do you have to go to work very early or do you work from home like me? So if you're someone that is very busy, I do not expect you to cook every day. So this will also determine the kind of food you can cook and what your meal plan should look like. You also have to ask yourself what is in season. A few weeks back, tomatoes was very expensive and it was also very scarce. So if you're working with a budget, this is not the time to be buying food that is not in season because if you find them, they are typically more expensive. I present to you my food timetable for August. I feel like this is a project that I have to defend. I have to explain to you guys why I chose certain meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and why I have snacks there. So let's start from the beginning. We'll start from Monday. We'll start with Monday. For me, Monday breakfast as yogurt pancakes is something that I feel is a budget breakfast. I always have flour at home and flour is something everybody should have in their house. When I have flour, I can make pizza, I can make pancakes, I can make even bread at home. There's so much I can do when I have flour at home. So making pancakes from the flour is like nothing. One basket of flour, I think to me is less than 500 naira. So it's even cheaper than rice, in my opinion. So having flour and having yogurt pancakes for breakfast, if that's the kind of thing you like. Sometimes I swap um, pancakes for waffles, and that's because I have kids that are interested in this. So the kind of family you also have will determine the kind of um, meal plan you have. So if your family is not into things like pancakes and stuff, you can swap this for another meal. All these meals that are listed here, they can be as budget friendly as you like or they can be expensive. So for Monday lunch, it is vegetable and potato pottage. So for me, budget will be vegetable, which is ugu and smoked mackerel with some tomatoes and tatashe. That is it. You don't need to add anything else. But if you want to make it expensive, you can add prawns, you can add snail, you can add so many things to make just this vegetable very expensive. So I hope you understand what I mean. Now for me, I'm going to be doing 
whatever it is we are craving. So it's possible it might be smoked mackerel and ugu, but the potato is not going to be Irish potato because it tends to be expensive. So I'm going to use sweet potatoes. They are very delicious. And for 500 Naira, you can get a lot. So sometimes when I buy 500 Naira sweet potatoes, we eat it twice. That is very budget friendly. For snacks on Monday, we have apples. And then for dinner, we have minced beef spaghetti jollof. So the thing is, minced beef spaghetti jollof for me is very budget friendly. And I'll tell you how. So I buy minced beef and the most I buy is like 800 naira. And then spaghetti, one pack of spaghetti, 300 naira. In fact, I bought spaghetti yesterday for 250 naira. And combine the two, that's less than one five. So let's say we add tin tomatoes because we're going to add tomato puree to this dish. We add tin tomatoes, we add onions, all these things. When you combine them, it's not up to 2,000 naira for the meal for a family of five. So this is another budget-friendly meal that you can try. For breakfast on Tuesday, we are having French toast. So you just buy one whole loaf of like bread, agege bread, if you're in Nigeria or if you have normal bread wherever you are on sliced bread and then we're going to cut it into thick slices and make french toast i have french toast recipe on my channel and for most of these recipes they are on my channel if you need inspiration so we make french toast instead of just having like normal bread and egg this is another way to have bread and egg because french toast is basically bread and egg so this is a way for us to make our meals interesting so that it doesn't look like we're having the same thing all the time then for lunch, we have banga soup and eba. You guys, banga soup is kind of like my most budget soup that I feel like I can cook. Okra is on the list, ogbono is on the list, but banga soup, very budget friendly. You can buy like a bowl of banga, like I'm not saying going, going to buy the preserved banga. And for some people, you don't know what is banga, but uh, <laughs> you can Google it and you can check my channel for banga soup. It is the most one of the most delicious soups ever. It's one of my favorite soups. It's one of my top five. So banga, you can buy the bowl of like fresh banga for like 500 naira, boil it, make it, buy one catfish for maybe 1000 naira. Depends on how much you sell it where you ask. For some places, you can buy catfish cheaper or it can be more expensive. But for 2000 naira, you will cook a delicious pot of banga soup that will last you two times. I've done it before. This is why I'm sharing this with you. The last time I cooked budget banga soup, I actually used smoked chicken. So one whole smoked chicken was like 1,500. By the time we combined it with the banga, everything was not up to 2,500. And we had that soup twice for a family of five. So very budget. For snacks, we're going to be having seedless grapes. Um, sometimes I call it berries. And then for dinner, we have beans and corn with beef dodo. So let me explain myself and let me <laughs> defend myself. <laughs> beans is very budget friendly. And when I cook these beans, these beans, you cook it in bulk because for the rest of the week, I will show you places where we're having beans. So you can make just a very big pot of beans don't put palm oil don't make it into anything just boil the beans till it is almost cooked and then put it in the freezer when you're ready to cook for the week you can start bringing it out one by one then for today's own we're having beans and corn so you you mix the beans with corn fresh corn is in season and they are very affordable for 500 now you can cook a big pot of beans and corn and then we're going to make beef dodo so beef dodo is like beef, fried beef, and plantain fried into cubes and mixed with a tomato sauce. You are going to also make bulk beef dodo, which is going to make it cheap and affordable. When you cook in bulk, you spend, even though it looks like you're spending a lot of money, but in the long run, you are not spending a lot of money. We are going to use this beef dodo as the sauce of the week. You will notice in the next part of my budget on Wednesday night we're having coconut rice and we need a sauce so we're going to use beef dodo also so on Wednesday morning we have oatmeal and moi moi so that's coca oats and moi moi you can choose to make this from scratch or you can buy pre-made moi moi I have someone around me that sells moi moi for like is it 150 
So by the time you buy for like five people, that's less than 1,000 Naira. Or you can choose to make your own moi moi from scratch, which is also affordable. And you can make a whole lot of moi moi. Maybe make extra for another breakfast. So moi moi is very affordable for me. And cooker oats is kind of affordable also. You can decide to use pap. You can use custard. But I'm not like a pap girl or a custard girl. I'd rather do oatmeal. For lunch, we have unripe plantain pottage. A bunch of plantain is 500 naira if you find good ones. And you can get a whole lot if you buy 1,000 naira plantain. This is going to be unripe plantain pottage and it is so, so delicious. We call it kekefia. So you can check my channel, you will find it. All you need in that recipe is unripe plantain, palm oil, vegetable and some fish. And you would have the most delicious meal you've tried in your life. One of the most delicious. So try this for budget meals. For snacks, we're having watermelon. And then for dinner is coconut rice and beef dodo. So the beef dodo you made in bulk yesterday, you're going to use it again today. For Thursday breakfast, we have quesadillas. I have a video showing you how to make it. There are different ways you can make it. You can make it as affordable as possible and you can make it as expensive as possible. You can put any filling you like. So all you need to get for these quesadillas are tortilla wraps. And this is what we're also going to use on Sunday night for our chicken wrap or shawarma. They are similar to shawarma wraps, but not exactly the same. The tortilla wraps are softer, and I feel like I prefer them to the shawarma wraps. So we use them for the whole week. If you've watched the video up to this point, please click the like button and subscribe. It really helps me out, and it lets me know that you like these kind of videos. So I will put more effort into bringing more of these kind of videos to you. So just easy, click the like button. Thank you. I have a video. I will link all the videos and all the recipes I mentioned. I'll link all of them in the description box. So for lunch, we're having banga soup. So you know previously we had banga soup for, I think, Tuesday night. So we're using the remaining part of the banga for Thursday lunch as well. And then for Thursday snacks, we have some of those seedless grapes because you know when you buy the whole pack, you don't finish it at once now. So <laughs> we have it twice. Um, for dinner, we're having yam and beans pottage. Now, let me explain this yam and beans pottage because I have the recipe. If you're looking for a fantastic yam and beans pottage and orishi rishi pottage, I called it assurance <laughs> yam and beans pottage. So this yam and beans is leftover if you have leftover plantain from wednesday if you have leftover yam from monday tuesday you just combine all your leftovers to make this pottage so you have leftover yam you have leftover beans you have leftover like ugu from the vegetable sauce we made you have leftover tomatoes put everything together and it will make a delicious yam and beans pottage i'm going to link that recipe if you've never tried that recipe oh gosh i can't even explain please go and try it it is fantastic and it's also a budget friendly way of enjoying amazing food you can make it vegetarian you can put um chicken beef inside. like i said budget is relative so just do you on Friday, we tend to be more relaxed. We have cereal and fruits for breakfast. And to be honest, you can have cereal every day for breakfast if you are really going budget. <laughs> you actually can. But because we want variety, we're going to choose different meals. For lunch, we have penne pasta and beef dodo. So this is the third time you are going to enjoy that beef dodo, which is why I say you should make it in bulk. Um, for snacking, we're going to have watermelons, and for dinner, we'll have pizza and chicken wings. Making your own pizza is actually cheaper than buying pizza outside, especially if you are making it for a lot of you. When we buy pizza, it costs us nothing less than 9,000 naira because we have to buy like, is it two medium pizzas and we like the expensive kind. <laughs> so it costs us nothing less than 9,000 naira to buy pizza. But if you had to make your own pizza, you can actually make it for less than 9,000 naira, which is why I say flour is very important. For pizza, you don't need a lot. You just need flour, water, yeast. And then you have your cheese and your toppings. So easy to make. And I know I say so easy to make, but I'm sorry. I will share the recipe for pizza very soon. Maybe this week. I will share my recipe for the different types of pizza that I make. If you want to see it, 
please leave a comment and let me know you want to see my pizza recipe and if it's popular I'll do it then on Saturday we have akara and oatmeal this is like typical Nigerian Saturday breakfast if you are not having akara then you are not proper Nigerian <laughs> For lunch, we're having okra og ogono with pando yam. So if you still have banga leftover, you can use one soup for the whole week. But for me, I like to switch it up during the week and I like to have okra. And okra is not something I like to freeze. So we just buy a little okra that we can eat for just that lunch and finish it at once. I don't like to warm okra because by then it just loses it just loses everything unless when you're cooking it you don't fully cook it and then you freeze it so when you want to warm it you now fully cook it but i don't have time for that <laughs> so we just eat okra or ogbono for saturday lunch by the time you eat it everybody will just go and sleep we have banana for snacks and then for dinner time we have grilled fish chips and coleslaw like we always look forward to like friday night saturday nights <laughs> because we're just eating like things we'll typically buy outside so grilled fish let me tell you very affordable at least where i am um we usually make like three tilapia fishes my son is not a big fan of fish so he's not included in this meal but he will eat the chips and coleslaw <laughs> so i usually keep like some chicken wings for him that he can eat on the side but one grilled fish or one fish without grilling it we grill it at home it's about what for a kilo you pay maybe 1200 and you get two fishes so for 1800 i get more saturday nights meal does not cost more than 5,000 naira because by the time you buy the fish and everything fish everything 2,000 naira by the time you buy the chips the chips is can be Irish potato can be sweet potatoes can be fried yam so it depends on what you have and what's in season lately we've been doing more of sweet potatoes so let's say we fry the sweet potatoes and we make coleslaw Coleslaw is just carrots and cabbage. Basically, cabbage you can buy for 200, carrots you can buy for 200. Just look for your nearest, like, proper budget shop, like your typical malam on the street, and you get it affordable. And then we've made a lovely meal for 5,000 naira for Saturday. If we were buying this outside, I know how much it will cost. I have a recipe for all of this, so check the description box. Now for Sunday, we're going to have a parfait or smoothie bowl. Typically in this house, we don't eat on Sunday morning. So I just put that there in case you're someone that eats on Sunday morning. We really sleep in and we wake up late. So by the time we're ready to eat, it's like brunch time. Um, but I'm not giving you my own family menu. I'm giving you like a normal menu. So for the parfait, it's just yogurt and some granola and some fruits if you have them. If you have leftover watermelon from the week, leftover banana from the week, if you have leftover like any fruit you have, you can now make it into a parfait on Sunday and enjoy it with yogurt. So you see this yogurt that you're eating on Sunday is the yogurt you're going to carry into Monday to make your yogurt pancakes. So for Sunday lunch, we're having rice and vegetable sauce. If you notice, on Monday lunch, we had vegetable sauce and I think uh, potatoes. So is this vegetable sauce you will make for both days. This is another way to spread your meal and to just spend less than you normally would. So it will carry you a long way if you make double portion of meals, like I said, with the beans and with anything else, just make for today and tomorrow. So we're having that rice and vegetable sauce. And then for snacks, we have prawn crackers. Those are very inexpensive. And then for dinner, we have shawarma or a chicken wrap, which is basically just, you know, let's say from yesterday, there will still be leftover um, cabbage. There will still be leftover carrot from Saturday night. So you put everything into a wrap and you put some chicken breast and you're good to go. You've had lovely dinner. The wraps that you use for your quesadillas on thursday is the same wrap we use for our chicken wrap on sunday night so you can buy a separate shawarma wrap but we typically like to just use the wrap that we use on thursday that way we get to finish everything during the week 
so this is my budget meal plan for august like i said you can play it up and make it more expensive add more things or you can make it as affordable as possible everything is relative to your income and your lifestyle so if you want this timetable just go to the description box there's going to be a link there click to download and you will get this exact template in your inbox and you can use it you can print it out you can stick it on your kitchen and you can use it for the rest of the month so how I do it we just rotate the meals till the month ends that's how we use this as a monthly meal plan I hope I have properly defended myself and I hope you guys like this video if you do please click the like button it is very important and subscribe if you haven't subscribed I will see you all in my next video bye